welcome to mahipati talks as you are aware that uh, because of covid 19 no, schools stopped colleges stopped but learning has never stopped and sharing of knowledge has not been stopped and this is a time where people started thinking and reflecting and maybe many eminent personalities like ch shrinivas has come forward to share their knowledge today we are going to talk about the ict tools which is very important especially the quizlet which is more useful for the teachers and faculty uh, to assess these students and uh, now uh, i feel happy and proud to introduce today's uh, resource person ch shrinivas he is pursuing his phd in elt from kl university working as school assistant english at the jphs Oblapur of Jagatyal district, working as an SRP for several in-service training, capacity building programs since 2011, contributing educational columns for two newspapers in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, currently working as a mentor and coordinator for the English proficiency course organized by the Ajim Premji University. He received India's Super 30 Teachers Award in 2019. I'm glad and happy uh, that he has accepted to deliver the session on the ICT tools, which is the Quizlet. Now, I invite CH Srinivas sir to deliver the session on the ICT tools in specific Quizlet. Over to you, sir. So, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Srinivas, for introducing me. So, uh, in this global crisis, uh, uh, all the teachers and all the faculty has been uh, forced and has been asked to deliver the lectures uh, using the technology. So in the process of teaching and learning, uh, we are also asked to conduct uh, examinations or assessments uh, with the help of uh, the technological tools. So there are several tools that uh, uh, make the student uh, practice the vocabulary or grammar, or there are several tools that uh, are used to conduct the assessment. So today we are going to talk about one such uh, wonderful tool that is uh, Quizlet, okay? So in this session, we are going to uh, what, uh, know what is a Quizlet and how to make use of it. And we're also going to have a, a demonstration with that Quizlet. And we are also going to participate in one of the practice tests. Okay. So before I uh, begin the session, let me give you the brief introduction of uh, the Quizlet. Okay. So as you know, that this is a software which is specifically designed to give the practice for the students in improving their vocabulary. So let me give you a few points regarding this uh, Quizlet and later let's uh, demonstrate uh, its uses. So Quizlet is an online study website. It's an online web study website uh, designed in 2007 in the USA and it is the top 50 websites in the USA uh, today. This uh, Quizlet helps the students in uh, memorizing the words and also their meanings and it provides the student plenty of practice in vocabulary. So this is the speciality of this particular website, Quizlet. Okay. So it is, I can say this is a memorizing tool and it provides the students plenty of practice re uh, regarding the vocabulary. And it also helps in presenting the vocabulary effectively. And here the teachers can uh, make use of this platform to create uh, uh, various activities related to vocabulary. And the teachers can also share the activities with the students. Okay. It supports uh, both the uh, Google Classroom or Zoom application also, and uh, it, uh, Quizlet with any on, uh, uh, online web conferencing tool. Okay, that is the introduction to uh, this Quizlet. And what are its uh, salient features? If you look at the features of this uh, website, uh, this website is very simple to use and uh, even very simple to configure. And uh, the teachers can create uh, several study sets depending on the nature of the content. Not only useful for the teachers of English language, and it's uh, useful for the teachers of all the subjects. Even the teachers of mathematics, science, and uh, social studies can also design the study sets with the help of uh, this Quizlet. And uh, suppose if you do not have enough time to create the study sets for your students, you can choose the study sets from millions of user generated sets from this Quizlet. This is the uh, what a special feature of the Quizlet. If you do not have enough time or if you do not have uh, enough resources to create a, a study set or a practice set, you can uh, what download it directly from the uh, what uh, website of a Quizlet and you can conduct the tests and uh, you can 
conduct the games for your students okay so two options are there you can create your own study sets and you can choose from millions of the sets that are available on quizlet and apart from that uh, creating the study sets there are six distinct study modes in this uh, quizlet we are going to witness what are those six distinct study modes okay and uh, even uh, you can also localize the language for example if your students are not at all uh, comfortable with that you can uh, what localize the language you can make use of the students mother tongue also okay and uh, if you do not have patience to type you can make use of text to speech technology also that facility is also provided on this website and it is very uh, affordable you need not spend uh, much amount of uh, uh, on this website okay you can create the accounts very uh, free of cost and you can start using it okay and uh, even android applications and uh, ios applications are also available these are the salient features of this uh, particular website and uh, uh, why to use quizlet okay these days uh, it is essential for the students to memorize the content for example uh, usually we uh, what uh, uh, discourage memorization but in certain uh, certain circumstances memorization is also uh, helpful for students okay so this uh, quizlet allows the students to memorize uh, different kinds of techniques okay and in the examination students uh, generally uh, make good grades and we can personalize our own sets for example today i have created one set if i want to make use of this set for uh, the next week or next month i can personalize it according to the needs of the students okay and even the english teachers or uh, the science teachers anyone can uh, make use of it and here there are many ways to learn and uh, even the most difficult words can be made easier for the benefit of the students and uh, one more facility is that once you have made a set you will never lose it and it will automatically saved in this quizlet app okay so these are the uses of uh, this quizlet app i have already told you that there are six study modes available one is the teacher can make use of the flashcards okay you know flashcards are highly helpful in preparing the uh, what uh, vocabulary if you want to introduce vocabulary for the students if you want to make them learn the vocabulary in instant way uh, flashcards are designed by the teachers so here uh, by using quizlet you can make use of the flashcards and you can introduce vocabulary to your students and second one is gravity test is there and this is a kind of game the students play with the uh, vocabulary okay so in the flashcards we introduce certain words for example in the flashcards i have introduced 10 words and if i want to give practice to the students i can make use of the gravity facility by using this gravity students will play a game based on those 10 words that i have created during the flashcards and the third one is a writing activity definition of a word will be given and the students need to supply the word for it sometimes words are given and the students have to write the definition of that particular word and here speller is a game uh, for example i have created flashcards for 10 words and the students those uh, activity activity that we have here matching game okay so uh, words and their definitions will be given and the students are asked to match the words with their appropriate meaning and even students also play live games with the teacher for example i am teaching with the uh, uh, what uh, google class uh, sorry i'm teaching with the one web uh, online web conferencing tool like the zoom or uh, any other thing so the students can instantly what uh, they can play the games uh, with the link i sent to the students okay. so these are the six study tools that are available six study modes that are available in this uh, this is what uh, i would like to introduce you regarding this one now let us directly go into uh, the how make use of it. just uh, uh, give me a second so that i can see the so here i am using a google chrome website so uh, preferably you can use any kind of uh, 
uh, what uh, website, but uh, I prefer Google Chrome with this uh, Quizlet. So, so here, this is uh, the home. Uh, do you want to? Uh, hello. Sir, will you switch on your video? Uh, if you ask, I can. Yeah, yeah. Is it necessary? Uh, yeah, yeah. That will be good so that people are watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, the Quizlet home page. Okay. So let us uh, try to do from the beginning onwards. You just go to Google Chrome and enter Quizlet.com. Okay. This is the home page Quizlet.com. And first, it will uh, it asks you to log in. Okay. So you can easily log in by providing your what uh, email. Okay. That is very simple. For example, I am uh, logging out. And let us see how to log in. So uh, this is a simple way. Here you have the login option. So I am clicking on the login option, and it, it is asking me three options: whether to log in with the Google or whether to log in with the Facebook. So I am logging in with my Google account. Right. So this is my uh, Gmail. So this is a very simple way to log in into this uh, Quizlet website. Okay. So this is the home page of uh, the Quizlet uh, web uh, what page. So we have different options here. We have home option. We are on the home page, and we have some sets, folders, and different classes are there. And here we have the search option. You can search for the set designed by other teachers, and you can create your own uh, what uh, set study set. So these are the recent study sets I have uh, created for my class six student and class eight students. So I have been using it for the last six months and the students are really enjoying it and they are really learning a lot of uh, vocabulary with the help of this particular website. So let us see, uh, let us create one particular study set using the create option. Uh, for example, you are teaching for your eighth class students and you want to create a study set for them related to the teaching. So what do we do? Just we click on the create option. You just click on create option. It will be, uh, it, it asks you for two things. One is to create a study set or to create a class also. First, let us see a study set. Yeah, see here it is asking us uh, for a few details. Uh, for example, here it is asking for the details. So here I'm uh, entering the details like uh, class eight, and here English, right? And uh, in the description box, it asks for uh, the details of that one. So here I'm dealing with the vocabulary of uh, unit one. Okay, you, vocabulary of unit one. So these two are uh, essential, we need to describe it. Okay, and you have one more option here. Uh, for example, if you have already typed the questions uh, in a Word page or Excel or Google documents, you can directly import the questions but I don't have uh, any Word or Excel Google Doc here. So I would like to create for my students, okay? So first I have entered the class and subject, and then I entered the description, okay? Then it is asking, uh, it is prompting us to uh, what, choose an image. So I'm choosing one image uh, from the pictures that I have already with me. Yeah, so I'm uh, choosing vocabulary. This is the picture, this is the image I'm going to give here. So I have given this uh, vocabulary. Now it's our time to create the study set for the students. Let us see here, you can see the numbers. So with the help of these numbers, we create some words. So I'm choosing here uh, some words from class eight. So in that uh, unit one, we have a word like a uh, tatter. Okay, you see here, it is suggesting a few words with uh, the word tatter. So I'm choosing here, tattered, first one. And here, uh, you just see, you can choose the English word or any other word. So it is an English term. And here, you need to give the uh, what uh, description or definition of the word for the tatter. You need not enter the meaning of the word. 
you need not enter the meaning of the word the quizlet only suggests you different meanings that are associated with the word chattered so it has suggested three definitions for this chattered word one is old line torn second one is old line torn and on the other one is in poor condition and third one is torn and ragged so here i am choosing it has suggested three definitions for, for that particular word i am choosing the first one old and torn now i would like to have an image for this word old and torn and tattered okay so then i am clicking on this uh, uh, particular okay i i would like to have one image for this so we can also make use of uh, one image so see here these are the pictures quizlet is suggesting us for the word tattered so this word is there for tattered and a picture of shoes is also uh, given which is torn and uh, old and here there are several pictures okay so it is suggesting all these uh, pictures for the word tattered so i am choosing this one right so what have we done we have uh, i have typed one word that is tattered okay and uh, quizlet has suggested uh, the meaning okay or definition that is old line torn and i also wanted to have a picture and here this uh, particular website has suggested the picture of this one okay and let us see the second one i am choosing one word that is mist okay so mist is the word i have taken and uh, let us see what is the definition suggested by this so it is suggest it is suggesting three words for that mist one is fog second one is a fine spray or light fog and it is also suggesting a word mixture so i need the meaning that is fog and i want one picture for this particular word and let us see what does the quizlet suggest for this okay so these are the words suggested by uh, this quizlet so i am choosing this word for the meaning fog okay so i have uh, about uh, created two words let us uh, uh, go with 10 words and let us see how to play the games with this so third one is reluctantly so reluctantly is the word here and the definition for this one is it is suggesting three definitions unwillingly unwilling unwillingly is gently so i choose unwillingly and uh, let us see what is the image for this so this is the picture suggested by it and the next one is bald headed or bald head it is also there the word is there in that uh, lesson let us see the meaning for this word sorry yeah yeah bald head and let us see the meaning of it no hair it is suggesting the meaning no hair and uh, images for this one is so let's see take this one and the uh, next one is right okay so no particular meaning definition and uh, so this is the picture is suggesting next one kind let us see the meaning the definition it suggests so it's suggesting nice and the image for this is so this is the word for the middle aged person so it has suggested uh, about 45 to 60 years old and i'm choosing this particular picture one more word is blind
unable to see. So these are the pictures suggested by this quizlet. I'm choosing this particular word. Unable to see. Another one is dislike. And uh, do not like. And the image is this one. Then the next one is hesitantly. So in a reluctant way. And the image for this is, yeah. So see uh, here I have uh, created a set with 10 words with their definitions and with the pictures. So this is the study set I have designed for my class eight students after completion of a particular level. Okay. Now we need to uh, make or create the study set. Okay. So I'm, uh, who will see this? So everyone, everyone will see this one. I'm seeing this and who will edit A? It will be edited by everyone. And uh, so this is the first thing I have done with this uh, uh, Quizlet. So what I have done is I have created a, a study set with the 10 flashcards. Okay, so 10 words are there. And uh, let us see uh, how to uh, what uh, send it to the students now. So see. If you want to send this particular study set to your students, okay, you can send to their email, okay, or you can copy the link and you can share it to your uh, students on Google Classroom, okay, or even you can send it to your students through WhatsApp or uh, through a normal message also, okay. So first of all, let us see how to make use of this particular one. So I have created a study set with 10 words. See, this is a class eight and the subject is English. So these are the different facilities that we have here. The first option is a flashcard option. Second one is learn. Third one is write. Fourth one is spell. Sixth one is test. And the next one is the match, gravity and like. These are the facilities that are available here. So first let us see how to make use of this uh, flashcard option. So the first word I have uh, is old Einton. Okay, so that is the oh, wait a second. Yeah. So chattered. If you click on it, it will be flipped automatically. So the meaning of the word chattered with its picture is given. That is the first word. Okay. Now let us see. It's a second word. Second word is missed. If you click on the word, it will be flipped and the picture along with its meaning is given. So the meaning of the missed is fog. So third one reluctantly click on it. It will be flipped and it will show you the picture and its meaning. And the next one is ball head. This is the picture and its meaning. So in this manner, uh, all the words will be shown along with their definitions and also the pictures okay so this is the first one that is the flashcards see we have created 10 words for class 8 students and it is showing all the 10 words along with the pictures and meanings that is the first facility with this quizlet now after learning the words and their definitions the second option that we have is the learn option you can see the different options available on the left corner Okay, learn option is there. So here uh, it is asking the students for the words. The definition of the word is given and the picture is given. 
so with the help of these two the students are expected to find the suitable word so no hair here the four options are given one is dislike bald head tattered and reluctantly four words have been given so i am choosing the answer bald head okay so automatically the second question appears you can also see your score nine remaining and one word is familiar to you and uh, uh, zero is well known to you so old and torn for this i am choosing tattered so it is also correct so two words are familiar to me to not like so here uh, simply let us uh, choose one wrong answer incorrect answer so i am choosing uh, blind so here if you choose the wrong answer it suggests you study this word okay so after studying the word you will also be given the audio of this particular word okay and uh, this is about uh, middle aged so this is the second option that we have okay your score will also be seen there right if you choose the wrong answer i suggest you to study this particular word okay this is the second option that we have in this uh, website that is nothing but uh, the learn option learn option is the uh, facility that we have with this uh, particular thing now let us see the third one that is the right option right option is another facility that we have here let us see uh, what happens with the right option so if you uh, this is a given okay the student is expected to write the word appropriately okay so here uh, unwillingly definition is given and here uh, image is given and the student is expected to write the appropriate word for this picture so here i am writing this one so here it asks the students to write the word appropriately so here that is the right answer and wrote is given i am choosing right that is correct in a reluctant way so in this manner uh, the student is expected to write the word for that definition okay this is the third option that we have with this so first one is uh, designing the flash cards second one is uh, practicing with the uh, four multiple choice questions and third one is writing the word by seeing its picture and definition and the fourth one we have is uh, the spell option okay we also uh, what spell the word appropriately let us see here the audio is i symbol is there and uh, you can listen to that particular word by clicking on this audio symbol and uh, here the definition of the word is there and the, even the picture is also provided there so taking the clues from these three with the help of audio with its definition and the picture the student must uh, give the correct spelling of the word okay so here uh, if you click on this audio icon it is uh, suggesting the word blind okay so the student is expected to spell the word correctly okay so here this is the word blind and uh, so this is the spelling activity with the assistance of the uh, what uh, audio its definition and the picture the student is expected to write the answer correct okay this is the spelling activity and the fourth one or the fifth one is a test we can also conduct test for the students uh, so here uh, you see three written questions are given we have 10 questions already you know that uh, i have prepared 10 words in this set so for first three questions written questions okay so not to like old and torn and uh, about 45 to 60 year old so these question, three questions are uh, the written questions and uh, you can see the three questions next three questions are matching questions the student is expected to match the three words with the pictures and definitions giving on the right side okay so three written questions are given by quizlet and three matching questions are designed by it and here it has also created two multiple choice questions okay one is unwillingly so here uh, 
we may choose the word like reluctantly or hesitantly so and uh, second question is uh, unable to see it has given four options okay from those four options you can choose the correct one and uh, two true or false questions are given by it no hair it means bald head so it is true the student chooses the correct answer and uh, in a reluctant way is gently that is also true so see automatically quizlet has created a test on behalf of you you have just created only 10 words with its uh, meanings even the meanings are also uh, given by this uh, quizlet and even the images are also supplied by the quizlet so the only thing that you have done is you have supplied 10 words in this set and uh, the rest of the thing has been done by the quizlet so on behalf of you it has created um, different kinds of questions okay it has created three written questions okay uh, three matching questions two multiple choice questions and uh, two true or false questions okay so this is about uh, the test and we also have this option that is uh, the students can play three kinds of games here using this uh, particular website the first one is a matching game second one is gravity game and third one is live game okay you can send the link to people and they will uh, play along with uh, one another so let us take the first one that is matching game see here uh, different things different words have been given and here time is also being displayed okay so we need to choose the words for example mist is there i have to drag this onto that picture it has disappeared so reluctantly is there i am choose dragging it towards unwillingly okay right is there it is wrote okay hesitantly in a reluctant way tattered and middle aged person so here you got first place and unlocked the match badge so since no one has played the game uh, i am the only person who has played this particular game that's why i got the first place for example if some other people also play and uh, whoever uh, what uh, matches correctly will be the winner of that game okay so this is the matching game and we also have the gravity game with us okay so here we can personalize uh, the game let us see how uh, this game works so uh, from the above the word comes okay we have to uh, what uh, uh, type its answer here okay hesitantly is there so i am typing it uh, reluctantly okay so if the answer is correct you will score one otherwise your uh, score you will lose the score okay so prompt is hesitant in this manner this is a gravity game the students can also play this game with the help of uh, uh, this quizlet and the last option that we have with this is a, a live game so this is a, a quizlet live game you can share the link with your students and the students will play with uh, one another so here i am creating a live game and it is for uh, individuals i am choosing this individuals so the individual students can log in and they can play with the uh, game okay so this is uh, the code okay if you have a, a facility of a, a website just you visit uh, quizlet.com and you enter this code 407155 okay you can play this game otherwise i am copying the game link and i am also providing it on the chat box okay if you find it you can play by entering that uh, code yeah so here i have uh, copied and pasted the link of this game you can log into this uh, website okay you can play the games uh, different kinds of games that are available okay if you are interested you just uh, go to the chat box and find the link there uh, if you click on that link automatically you will be directed to play the games of this particular set so Uh, that's about uh, playing uh, the games with the students for example if you are teaching with uh, your students 
uh, on zoom uh, class zoom or any other google meet or any other thing you can send the link to the students and the students will play the games uh, online games and even the live score also displayed on the board okay so these are the several options that we have with this uh, quizlet so we just we need to create a, a flashcard search and the remaining things will be done by uh, this quizlet website only and uh, let's go to the next one for example i don't do not have time okay and uh, i want to uh, what uh, uh, get one direct uh, set from the website for example i am teaching for my six class students and i would like to have a, a study set on singulars and plurals i do not have enough time to prepare uh, the set for the students so simply uh, so far we have created our own study set now i would like to take the help of the quizlet so I'm going to this search icon. I'm choosing singulars, singular and plural. Let us see, uh, does it uh, suggest any sets for us? See, uh, this is uh, the beauty of this particular website. It has suggested so many study sets on the topic singulars and plurals. Okay, so in manner, you can type any topic there. You can type articles or forms of the works. You can type tenses, articles, or question tags, degrees of comparison, phrases, and clauses. You choose anything. Many study sets that are designed by others will be displayed here. Okay. You can just choose one study set. See, you can see hundreds of study sets designed by other people. So you can choose one study set and you can uh, what uh, personalize it according to the uh, needs of your uh, students. Uh, let me uh, choose one thing. So here I am choosing uh, this uh, particular, let's see. Yeah. I have chosen one uh, topic designed by others. So I have not designed it. I have chosen the study set designed by someone else. Okay, so in this manner, uh, Laos, Lies, Fox, Rhino. So these are all the singulars and plurals. Okay, see, it has not been created by me, it has been created by someone else. But some words in this study set may not be suitable for the needs of my students. In such cases, I can go to this thing or uh, this study set okay uh, i have chosen singular and plurals in this study set there are 20 words okay i can edit this 20 words okay we have that provision okay so for that uh, just do one thing here we have so many options if you want to add some more words you just click on add set to class or folder Okay, if you want to customize it, if you want to make modifications to it, just click on customize. And if you want to share with other people, click on the share option. Okay, and if you want to know information about the person who has created this study set, click on this one. Okay, and here, if someone has played the game, you will find the scores here. And you can also print this uh, study set. For example, this is a singular plural. If you want to combine this, Study set. You can combine two things, and you you can also export this into a PDF form. So these are the facilities that we have with this uh, Quizlet. So I am customizing it for my students. Twenty words have been given, but uh, I want to include a few more things, and I want to remove some words uh, created by other persons. So for that, I have to click on the customize option okay see this is the study set designed by other person the topic name is singular sign plurals and i am choosing a class that is a class six okay so class six singular and plurals the topic name is match up the word correct singulars with the plural words okay and uh, that particular person has not chosen any image i can also choose the image right uh, see here uh, he has chosen snake. The plural form is snakes. I want to uh, give some uh, 
unfamiliar word to the students. So I am giving cough. And here I am choosing coughs. And he has not given any image for that. So here I am giving its image. Okay. So here I have also chosen the image for that. So in this manner, you can manipulate or you can personalize the study set according to your needs. Okay. And after completion of that one, you can create it. Just click on create option. So automatically, this study set will be created. So this is the study set we have uh, personalized, we have edited from other. So in this manner, you will have two options. One is you can create your own study set. And the second one is you can search from the millions of study sets that are available on this Quizlet website. Okay. So this is uh, about the quiz and the facilities that are provided there. And all the study sets that you have created can be shown on the home page of uh, uh, the Quizlet website. So these are the recent things. If you want to see all the study sets designed by me, so these are all the study sets. Okay. A few seconds ago, I have created class six singular and plurals. A few minutes ago, uh, ten terms have been created for class eight English. And uh, in August, in August, I have created. 39 terms for class six Telugu medium students and uh, 39 times uh, 39 terms for singular central. These are all the study sets I have created for my students. Okay, so this is about uh, the creation of the study sets and giving practice for the students about uh, the uh, Quizlet study set. Okay, and uh, I'd like to consolidate what has been discussed uh, so far. Okay. So here, uh, remember, study sets, uh, just I'm giving the consolidation. By using the Quizlet, you can create a new study set. For that, just go to create a set in the home page of the Quizlet website. Okay. After adding the basic information like the class and the description to that, okay, uh, automatically the study set will start uh, uh, creating. Okay. And for every word, a suggestion or a definition will be suggested by the Quizlet website only. And even one image suitable is also uh, given by the Quizlet. Okay. So you can edit the information provided. Okay. That is the first benefit of uh, the Quizlet. For example, if you do not have enough time to create a new study set, you can search the box provided in the Quizlet. And you can make that study set your own. Actually, that's not prepared by you, even though you can choose that study set and you can make the study set your own. And you can share it with your students also. Okay. So you just uh, uh, type the keywords of that particular topic in the search visit uh, option. Okay. You will find uh, plenty of uh, study sets related to that particular topic. If you want, you can make some editings and you can post it to your students also. And uh, this is uh, another option that we have here that is edit a set in your collection. For example, you have created 10 study sets with this uh, wizard, and after a month or two months, you want to uh, edit that one. For example, I have created uh, a study set for class eight uh, student this year, and maybe the level of the students in the next academic year will be uh, different. So according to the needs of the students, I can edit this study set next year also. Okay, that option is there. And you can make a duplicate copy of the study set, or you can also create a new study. Uh, you can edit the study set. Okay, that is the thing that we have uh, with this uh, okay thing. And uh, the tests created by you can be uh, organized into classes, or they can be organized into folders. Okay, you can create separate folders for uh, different kinds of students that you have. Okay, for that we have uh, add to folder option. We have add to class option also. Okay, that is the fourth facility that we have with this uh, Quizlet. And if you do not have time or if you have uh, that uh, Quizlet uh, questions in some other Word document or Excel, you can import the list of questions or import the learning materials or any other curriculum document into this particular Quizlet. But remember, 
that format should be either uh, you know, a word document or a google docs or otherwise the excel spreadsheet okay so you can import the data from those three only right so that is uh, that facility is also uh, is being given in this uh, website and you can also choose a uh, not only giving the word and its meaning you can also add images and sometimes most of the times the quizlet also uh, suggests pictures for your words okay if you are not satisfied with that you can upload you, your own images so that is the sixth benefit that we have with this uh, quizlet option and after creating a study set you can print that study set okay you can make it into a glossary and uh, you can also download it into a form of pdf okay so are the, some of the options that we have we can make it into a form of a table or we can make it into a form of a glossary okay and we can also give different kinds of measurements and uh, depending on the measurements it will create or it will print the cards for you okay so this is the seventh benefit that we have with that and uh, the eighth benefit that we have with this is combining the sets for example today i have created uh, the singular sign plurals and uh, next year i may create some other uh, set with the same singular and plural topic so i can combine these two sets the set that is created by set is created in future uh, these two sets can be combined into one particular set okay for that you need to go to combine option and if you go to the combine option you will find more uh, options and uh, you can share this quizlet link through twitter okay or through facebook or even whatsapp or any other thing google classroom or zoom any other thing you can uh, make use of plenty of resources to share this particular thing and finally uh, you can make a quiz uh, you have different uh, facilities here different types of questions are there you can choose the, the different type, types of questions written questions matching questions multiple choice questions and true or false questions you can choose uh, any kind of questions according to the needs of your students and uh, you can prepare Uh, what uh, a practice test for your students okay and uh, you can also give the time limit and depending on the time limit also students will give the test so these are the uh, several benefits that we uh, it's uh, 850 if you have any doubts regarding this quizlet app or quizlet website uh, please ask me so that i can try to clarify your doubts thank you so much Yes, Shrinivas Rao, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. It was a wonderful session. Uh, I can say that it will be more helpful for the all the faculty uh, who would like to teach and take the help of this technology. Uh, it's the right time, I can say that in one way. I don't know how many of you are teaching online. Uh, of course, no, most of the people are forced to teach online now. So it will be very easy for us uh, uh, to understand and uh, to make houses better no can uh, if uh, it's open for the q and a if anybody is interested to ask any question they can ask uh, you can unmute yourself uh, and you can speak anybody can ask any questions there's no scope for uh, many questions because you you are you are already them raj would like to ask yeah sir you can go ahead sir you can unmute yourself and speak Arjun, yes, sir, you can speak. Sir. You can, I have unmuted. Arjun, very good day. Are you able to hear me, sir? Yeah, you are audible, Arjun, sir. You can. Are you able to hear me, sir? You are audible, sir. Sir, are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Can talk, sir. Actually, uh, can, sir, uh, we we have to operate this uh, only through uh, through computer, or can we operate this uh, through mobile also, sir? Uh, sir, I have told you that uh, it can be operated in either ways. Uh, you can download the application from Android mobile, and you can also download the application in iOS. Uh, even uh, you can uh, what uh, create the sets through Google Chrome or any other web browser also. So you can use it in all the ways. The app name, sir. Name. Quizlet only, sir. Quizlet. Just you go to Google Play Store and type a Quizlet, 
automatically it shows and you can download it and you can use it right sir your russian was wonderful sir really thank you sir we have, we will try and uh, we will uh, do a lot of uh, magic with this sir thank you sir thank you. anyone else would like to ask any or would like to add something because as you know that he spent a lot of time in explaining as a simple manner you know you can raise your hand so that i will unmute you you can speak so someone has asked a question nasreen has asked a question is this a paid subscription so it's absolutely free but uh, if you want to get some additional benefits from this quizlet you can uh, pay Uh, sir here uh, nasreen has asked a question in the chat box saying that uh, sir is this a paid subscription uh, madam it's not a paid subscription you can use it uh, freely but if you want to get additional benefits from uh, uh, quizlet you need to pay the certain amount of uh, money uh, just to enjoy the additional benefits okay uh, otherwise it's a free uh, website anyone else nasreen inna deep Sabita, ma'am. Sapna, ma'am. Lenin, sir. Pratima, ma'am. Nalini, ma'am. Ashin, ma'am. Kavita, ma'am. Anyone else would like to? Uh, you need not ask query when you can share that. What did you learn? That that is also will uh, motivate the uh, the trainers, sir. No, because uh, that's very important for everyone to know. And somebody teaches something, when you learn something, and you you acknowledge it, that's a great honor that we get. I know. I So since we have a couple of minutes of time, uh, sir, shall I ask them to participate in a quiz based on uh, uh, one set study sure, set? Sure, sir? sure, sure. Why mm -hmm. not, sir? Please. Yeah, because uh, 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 none of them is asking. Any... Assign one. Uh... So here I am going to assign one uh, study set. Uh, I am typing it in the chat box. the link is going to be shared there you just try to answer and let us try to see the live scores of yours so just uh, give me a, a few seconds of time so that i'll create one test and uh, send the link to them in the chat box so meanwhile if they have any doubts they can ask me oh, sure uh, i i'm sure that now you are able to understand uh, the ict there are many tools are there and i i can say that now when i spoke with uh, Srinivas sir, he was sharing that. No, this is the best one where we can be useful for many of the teachers because it's a Quizlet where you know you have an option. No, most of the times we get the sites where you need to make your own assignments or the tests, uh, even learning study material. Whereas Quizlet gives us an opportunity where you can use already you know the uh, sets are available. You can use them. If you want to edit them, you can edit them. You can learn, and it's also a play way of uh, method. You know, I'm, I'm sure that. Shinwa sir has might have shown more interest in Quizlet. The reason is that he's doing research on how this game should be useful in improving the language skills of the people. I don't know why he's uh, is doing uh, research on this area. So I, I'm sure that now uh, maybe uh, the moment he submits his thesis, we'll be able to know that more. What are the advantages? What is the improvement? And what are the areas that uh, we can focus? But this this was a live demo he has given how we can make our own quiz and how we can uh, play with it. on a game match the following clothes test yeah uh, sorry for the interruption sorry for the interruption so here uh, see uh, just this is uh, the link here i am copying the link okay just you uh, click on that browser and you can start play i can see who is playing here okay so i request as many number of uh, as possible to yeah. try to play so that we'll have a There's nothing like right and wrong. It's only for the sake of experience. So you can please play. Hmm. So here I have uh, uh, created. I uh, have uh, sent a link to you uh, in the chat box. So it's a live game. See, already Babita Ma'am has started playing. Uh, Nagarani, Steven, uh, Nalini also has started playing. So you just start uh, playing. The game. So uh, so far, ten people have joined. Eleven. yeah 12 so once all the people have joined the game we can create the game we can uh, make them play the game okay so so for 13 people are interested to join so i am creating a game so i am starting the game you can answer the questions
So here, uh, Nasreen. Uh, Nasreen has uh, won the game. At the end of the game, Nasreen has uh, uh, what uh, completed her game. So these are the answers uh, uh, given by her. So uh, you can see that everything on the screen. Okay. So finally, the winner of this final game is Nasreen. Okay. So in this manner, uh, you can conduct the live games for your students, and you can uh, make them play the game uh, in a joyful manner. Okay. So this is the way how to uh, conduct the uh, what practice tests or even the live games for the students. Just you share the link with them, and they can play on their own. Okay, so this is all from my side. Uh, so if you have any queries, you can uh, ask me. Thank you, Srinivas. No, it was wonderful because playing the game. Uh, maybe I I participated in the game. I was thinking that I'll be able to win the game, and finally I could only learn the words, but not to win the game. And it was exponential <laughs> learning. Thank you very much for making us to uh, again. And uh, congratulations to Nasri, ma'am. Uh, Uh, for uh, making it happen, and she's the winner. Am I right? Uh, uh, thank you very much. It was really interesting, you know, because uh, it's like you know we are uh, trying to see that as quick as possible. But of course, you no. Know, the congratulations to Nasrina for making it. Uh, thank you very much, and I thank everyone. Before uh, I uh, request uh, Chandrasekhar sir to propose what of thanks. I thank Chandrasekhar sir for uh, uh, referring uh, such a. Great personality, and a rich experience in training the people, and he made uh, this quiz made very simple. Now I'm sure that all the participants can learn this and uh, part make it easy, and they can implement it in the classrooms also. Thank you very much, Senior Sir. I request uh, Chandra Shankar Sir to propose uh, what? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, sir, uh, glad to see you. So I have been observing you for the past four or five years. That your enthusiasm and everything in learning and uh, especially in research uh, methodology. And uh, I hope all the participants know about our Srinivas sir. Uh, so you might have seen in uh, uh, Namaste Telangana and uh, Sakshi and some other esteemed uh, daily that uh, sir is a. So a columnist, uh, so he is. Uh, he has been writing uh, regarding that the methodology, as well as uh, for uh, for competitive exams, and uh, especially this uh, Quizlet and other uh, ICT tools. Uh, so uh, he is very good at so uh, in using that, and uh, he has been especially that uh, today in, uh, today's session. So he made it uh, so very wonderful session, as well as. just uh, he explained uh, very excellently so we can understand uh, very easily though it is very new to us so he explained very well and we enjoyed a lot throughout the session and we can use it uh, for our uh, students especially even for that uh, so uh, government students also and it's very useful and we expect uh, so some other session also on uh, different uh, so uh, ict tool and thank you very much uh, srinivas sir and uh, so very glad to see you on uh, online and though i uh, do not uh, meet you in person so uh, so thank you very much sir thank you and uh, so uh, we will uh, so keep in touch with you if there is any doubt so uh, surely we will ask you thank you very much for your wonderful session and it's very useful so in this uh, present uh, scenario so thank you thank you very much sir Uh, Dr. Shrinivas Rao, sir, uh, you have been muted. Please uh, unmute. Sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, Shrinivas sir and uh, Chandrasekhar sir, both of you. Uh, Chandrasekhar sir also delivered a session on the channel, and I, I really appreciate for recommending the Shrinivas sir. And he's a great personality. He has made everything simple. I thank you once again, both of you, and also I thank all the participants, sir. Krishna sir, Nasrin sir, Nasrin madam, Tabitha madam, Sapna madam, Lenin sir, Nalini madam, Pratibha madam. Ashwin ma'am, Jangam sir and Kondal sir, Nagrani ma'am, Swetha ma'am, Nilima ma'am and uh, Bala Bima, Syed Safia, Sadam Yeshoda ma'am, uh, Arugya sir, 
Megra sir and the there on. Thank you, everyone. I request everybody to subscribe this Dr. Mahipati channel, and uh, uh, you can post the questions also on the uh, YouTube so that if uh, time permits, I I request Sinha sir to uh, answer them uh, online because uh, that's they're all always available. And uh, you know this can be learned anywhere. If you Google it out, you will get all the information. But you know it is very difficult to know which one to use, which one not to use. And he has done a lot of research and made it very simple. So sometimes people think that no Google is available, you can get everything. You don't know which information is useful for you. I can say that Quizlet has made it simple. That no, many tools are there. Is the best tool I can say that. That's the way he has explained it. So thank you uh, once again, Srinivasan. Hope to looking forward for more sessions from you and even from Chandrasekhar sir. It's an open platform. Anybody can uh, uh, come and say uh, deliver your session if you are expertise in that area. And I request all the teachers and the uh, resource persons, eminent personalities, to come forward to share the knowledge like Srinivas sir and uh, Chandrasekhar sir has done it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a great career, great time. Thank you, Srinivas sir and Chandrasekhar. Thank you, sir.